Hi children. Today you are going to learn eighth class, third chapter that is construction of quadrilaterals. In that exercise number three point three, the kind of quadrilaterals here when three sides two diagonals are given. As we know that every quadrilateral having maximum only two diagonals. So here with the three sides when two diagonals are given, with all completely five measurements by using with the three sides. And two diagonals. How to construct the quadrilateral? That we are going to be learn in this exercise 3.3. There are only two questions in this exercise 3.3. Let us learn without wasting your time. So here the question is a quadrilateral G O L D. First question. If you know the one of the construction, all the constructions will be same only. A quadrilateral. If you understand first exercise, all constructions will be same. We have to take step by step. That's it. O L equal to seven point five centimeter. G L equal to six centimeter. L D equal to five centimeter. D G equal to five point five centimeter. And OD equal to 10 cm. Suppose you draw a quadrilateral, any kind of quadrilateral. Suppose, suppose I have drawn this G O L D. I have given a name like this. So here G L G L is a diagonal. Look at this. This will be a diagonal. We can we have to look at which is the diagonal side. So three sides are there. Remaining two are diagonals. What are those diagonals we have to identify? Then D O R O D is a diagonal. These two are the diagonal. Remaining three are sides. Just if you draw a quadrilateral, you get which are the sides and which are the diagonals. Here G L and D O R O D are the diagonals. Opposite but says if you join by a line that will be known as a diagonals. Okay. Now let us construct this. Before we have to construct, we know that we have to draw a rough sketch. Let us draw the rough sketch first. O L you can take as a rough sketch as a uh, base or not. L D you can you can take as a base. Let me take it. O L equal to seven point five centimeter as a base of this quadrilateral. Then next, see so G L. Does we have a L? Yes, we have a L. Okay. Then let us take six centimeter radius on the compass. G L equal to six centimeter, but we don't know the G. We have a L, so keep it L. Draw an arc. So this is the diagonal, no? So here you will get somewhere on this arc, like here it is. Okay, there will be G somewhere on this arc. Okay, these two are connected. L D equal to L and D. Okay, L D equal to five centimeter. We have to take a radius five centimeter and draw an arc like that. With a five centimeter, we don't know the D again. We don't know the G. D G. We don't know the D and we don't know the G. So leave it this. O D equal to ten centimeter. O D equal to centimeter. We have a O. We have only two alphabets right now. O and L. So O D equal to ten centimeter. So we know the O position of O. We have to locate the position of exact position of D now. So you take a ten centimeter radius on the compass. Keep it O and draw an arc. It will be intersect L D. So already we know that L D equal to five centimeter be drawn. That means there will be D somewhere on this side, and O D equal to ten centimeter. That means there will be somewhere D on this side. The common point of D will be here. Just join that O D equal to ten centimeter and L D equal to five centimeter. Yes. Now, what are the measurements we missed? D G we missed actually. D G. So we have D now. Exact position of D. So take a 5.5 centimeter as the radius on the compass. G. Keep a D and locate the G. It will be intersect here. Now join O G and D G. The D G will be 5.5 centimeter and O G are not here. 
sorry, go gym we don't have that will limit. Only these three sides, one, two, three sides are given. Now L G B has. Yes. First itself we have given G L is this. That will be S six centimeter. Yes. Now this is a rough sketch actually. Let us construct the face sketch of this diagram. Okay. First of all, you take the ruler or compass. Take O L equal to what? Seven point five centimeter as the compass. O L equal to seven point five centimeter. This is O and this is L. Okay. Seven point five centimeter on the compass. G O L D required. However, the alphabet should be not. Okay. Now next level, this is complete. Now G L. See that any one of the alphabet is present here. Yes, L is present. So we can locate the G. But we know that G L is a diagonal, so it may come like that. G and L. So the R will come over, come somewhere here. So we have to the radius we have to take here. G L equal to six centimeter radius we have to take. Take a scale. And compass, take the six centimeter radius exactly, and keep it L. Draw an arc like that. Okay. Now this is completed. L D equal to five centimeter. We have a L. Now we have to locate the D. So L D equal to five centimeter. You take a five centimeter radius on the compass again. Yes. Now keep it L to locate the D. Now there will be D somewhere on the arc. We don't know the D. D G. We don't have a D and we don't have a G on this. So leave it this for time being. O D equal to centimeter. O yes, O is present here. D we have to locate. So already we know that D is somewhere on this arc, and we have to take a 10 centimeter radius on the compass and try to draw the an arc here. If that will be, you will get the master compass. So you may not be getting exactly. So when you are drawing, you get 20 centimeter exactly on the scale. So sorry, 10 centimeter exactly you can take on the compass and draw an arc. This both arcs will be intersecting at here. This will be common point of a D. So you can join here now O D. As you know, O D equal to what actually? 10 centimeter. This is 10 centimeter of an arc we have drawn. 10 centimeter of an arc. So then let's see what we have. What is left again? Uh, yes, L D equal to already L D equal to L and D. We can join the L D. See the triangle is completed first. L D equal to 5 centimeter. Now what is the measurement we missed? That is D G we left. G D G D G equal to 5.5 centimeter. So the simple thing we have to locate the G. There is G somewhere on the side. We don't know exactly. So we have to locate the G by putting a D G equal to 5.5 centimeters. Okay. You take 5.5 centimeter exactly on the compass. The radius you have to take 5.5 centimeter. Keep a D and draw an arc. The both are intersecting at each other at this point. This is G. Simple. Now you have to join. D G is a 5.5 centimeter and L G is a diagonal. This is 6 centimeter and the rest one. This is not given actually, but we have to join it to make a quadrant. To make it complete quadrant, we have to join this O G. O G we have to join because only three sides are given. The fourth side is not given, but fourth side we can join from G to O. We have to join this O G, so that we will get a complete quadrant. The steps you have to write the step by step. What we have done, we have to draw. Write that step by step. So I hope you understood. If you go step by step, step by step, without confusion, you will get a a good construction. You can construct. Yes. Now let's go for the another question. From this same exercise, we have to go for the another.
Let's go for the another question from this same exercise. That is B1. Yes. Again, construct a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral name is not given. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS. A construct a quadrilateral of PQRS where PQ equal to 4.2 centimeter and QR equal to 3 centimeter. PS equal to 2.8 centimeter. PR equal to 4.5 centimeter and QS equal to 5 centimeter. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Five measurements we got. But the thing is that from this, which are the three are sides and which are two are diagonal. That we have to. So simple. You draw any quadrilateral. Give a name like a PQ RS. We know that PR is a diagonal. There is a PR here. Here it is a diagonal. And QS. There is a QS edge here. These are these two are the diagonal remaining three are the sides. Yes. Now let us construct the rough sketch of this diagram. First, PQ equal to four point two centimeter. That will give me as a base PQ equal to four point two centimeter as a base of this quadrilateral. Then let's see QR. We have a Q. Yes, we can look at the R now. QR. We can take this now. QR. Take a three centimeter radius and draw the radius and R by putting a Q. PS. Yes, we have a P. We can look at the S. P S equal to 2.8 centimeter. Okay. P and S 2.8 centimeter on R. We have to draw it. So there will be R somewhere on this R. R. There will be somewhere R and there will be somewhere S on this R. We don't know the exact position of R and S to look at. Okay. Now if you take this P R equal to 4.5 centimeter. P R equal to 4.5 centimeter. 4.5 centimeter. P R equal to take 4.5 centimeter. So draw an R. It will be intersect here. So the exact position of R we got it here. Just join P R and this. P R equal to 4.5 centimeter and Q R equal to R D. That is 3 centimeter. Now we don't know the exact position of S. If you take Q S equal to 5 centimeter. This is a diagonal. Yes, we have a Q. We can look at the exact position of S. Take a radius of 5 centimeter on the compass and draw an arc. So we got the exact position of S here. Just join the P S and Q S. But here the fourth side is not given. Only three sides are given. Yes, that is P S also given. That is 2.8 centimeter. The fourth side is not given. To make it complete construction, we have to join these two walls. Yes. Now the required construction, the quadrilateral is complete. Let us draw the fair sketch here. So that you can understand what I have done. The same thing I am going to do it here, step by step. Let's take that PQ equal to four point two centimeter. PQ is equal to four point two centimeters. I have taken. Next to QR, yes, we have a Q. We can look at the R. QR equal to three centimeter. We have to take on the compass. Yes, you are equal to three centimeter on the compass. Yes, I have taken a three centimeter radius. I have to keep it this as Q. There is an arc somewhere. Yes, there is an R somewhere on this arc. We don't know the exact position of R here. Just we'll write a R. Now next we go for P S equal to two point eight centimeter. Two point eight centimeter we have to take on the compass. 2.8 centimeter I have taken on the compass. Yes, yes. This 2.8 centimeter PS. Yes. Here there will be yes somewhere on this arc. We don't know the exact position. We don't know the P. We have to look at the yes. Yes is somewhere on this arc. We don't know the exact position of yes. That will keep it as. Now next we take it. PR equal to 4.5 centimeter. P R S P R P, but we don't know the exact position of R on this arc. So if you draw now one more one more arc, the both arcs will be intersect each other, so that we will know the exact position of the arc. So that we take a now P R equal to 4.5 centimeter. 
on this uh, by locating this pin at P R. Yes, these both arcs are intersecting each other. That is exact position of R we got it now. Now just you join that P R and P Q. As you know, what is the P R equal to here? Four point five centimeter. Immediately, I have to write the measurement. Q R equal to one. That is three centimeter. Now, what is left? Only that this thing is left. So, all we have to write Q S is left. Q S equal to five centimeter. Just Q S equal to five centimeter. You take on the compass now. Yes. I have taken a five centimeter. Q S equal to five centimeter. Keep it Q. Draw an arc. Now we got the exact position of S. Our intersection points of these two arcs. Now just join P S. The P S is two point eight centimeter, and we have to join this Q S that is five centimeter. Simple. Now to make it complete construction, this is left actually. This side we have to draw additional because only three sides. One, two, three sides are given. And two diagonal sides. We have four sides for quadrilaterals. So the other additional side will be have to write lines. So as our construction of quadrilateral PQRS is completed with the given measurements. So how easily have done here? In the same way you can also do it by the practicing. You practice twice and thrice to get a good quadrilateral construction of quadrilaterals. So it may confuse you first time. But second time and third time, you can do it very well. Practice makes you perfect. So practice properly and construct good quadrilaterals with the given measurements. So in our next video, we will learn the next kind of a quadrilaterals. Okay, with when three sides and two angles are given, when three angles, two sides are given, how to construct? We will learn in the next hour, in the next classes. So till that time, practice these three exercises properly. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.